Is anyone else sick and tired by the state of today's gaming industry? Modern gaming is nothing but a soulless cash grab filled with endless broken promises and corporate greed. Here's the ugly truth about why the gaming we once loved is now dead. For well over 20 years, I've been gaming. Actually, minus the last five years because there has not been a single inclination, a single bit of motivation inside of me to play even one second of modern day gaming. Ever since the COVID lockdowns was the final nail in the coffin for me to say, you know what, modern gaming is no longer for me. Modern gaming is absolutely rubbish. It is a waste of time. It is nothing compared to those previous 15 years of my gaming history. Nothing has been appealing. Nothing has hit home to me like the olden days. So let me take you down memory lane. The first console I remember owning was the Nintendo 64. I remember setting up in my old dusty garage and playing for hours on end, not even stopping to eat from how much excitement and fun I was having, despite the graphics being absolutely terrible, like 8-bit or something. Fast forward, I then was lucky enough to own those old yellow Acer computers and starting my RuneScape journey. That's how far back I go. And then I played WoW. I think it was the WoW Classic at the time, I can't remember. And then for Christmas one year, I got an Xbox. Then I got the PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Actually, there was the PlayStation 2 Slim somewhere in between there. I got the Xbox 360, the famous Ring of Death. <laughs> I got the Xbox, what was after that? The Xbox One and then the Xbox X. Then eventually I upgraded to a gaming PC and then we have the PC behind me, which funny enough, I haven't even played one second of gaming since I got this computer. It's been used for nothing but work. This computer can play any modern day game on the best ultra graphics you can even think about on the highest probably FPS you can think about too. That is a testament in and of itself. The fact that I haven't even had one single inclination or one single ounce of motivation within me with the best tools available is a testament in and of itself. Now talking about all the consoles again for a second, I remember playing all the Halos, all the Gears of Wars, all the GDAs, all the Call of Duties, thinking about the old PCs. I used to play RuneScape and WoW as mentioned, even the old Dragon Quest. I remember even going to multiple midnight game drops where you used to have to go in store and wait at this long line until midnight for the game to launch. That was the only way for you to get your hands on a copy. And I used to even skip school back then, only to be able to get ahead of all my friends, your peers, to be like a bragging thing. Hey look, I got the game, I'm this level, I'm this far ahead in the campaign, I'm this far ahead in levels in the multiplayer. Because you physically had the copy of the games in your hands, there was no way for anyone else to get ahead of you unless they invested more hours. Fast forward to today's modern day gaming industry, the same cannot be said. I've heard of many very recent instances where game developers stick early access behind a paywall. So unless you pay them more money than the actual cost of the game, you have to wait a couple days and sometimes a week in order to get access to the game you paid for. What? That's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's talk about the fact that you don't actually own the game you paid for anymore. Back then, for example, when I bought Halo, when I bought Call of Duty, when I bought Gears of War, everything you owned physically, they had no way of monetizing how long you were able to play that game for. They couldn't turn off the servers on you. You were still able to consistently play that game for multiple years, sometimes even a decade plus. The way modern day gaming now works is, ready? You have to buy the physical or digital copy of the game, then you are now locked behind a paywall in order to play online for the game you already paid for. So for example, PlayStation or Xbox, 
you have to pay a subscription either per month or per annum. Then within the game itself, you have microtransactions, whether that be pay to win, whether that be pay to bloody play, for example, Destiny 2, a perfect example actually is Destiny 2. Mind you, I don't play this, I've heard about it multiple times because it's this new uproar within the industry right now of how ridiculous things are getting. But you buy the DLC, then in order to play the DLC, you need to buy these coins and then spend the coins on like a key or something or like items in order to play the DLC. And then let's not even begin to talk about the marker transactions when it comes to the cosmetics. Everything is locked behind endless paywalls and endless subscriptions. You no longer own the games you pay for. You no longer own the items you pay for. I've even heard of instances of games completely pulling the plug on people who have spent hundreds of dollars and all of a sudden they can't play the game anymore. All of a sudden they no longer have access to what they paid for. That makes absolutely no sense. Imagine I bought a watch for example, but in the fine print somewhere when buying that watch, it said at any given time, someone can come rip that watch from you and you no longer own it despite you paying full price, despite you technically in contract owning that item. Here are some other things that today's modern day gaming industry has absolutely turned me off from. So I'm sure you've seen over the last couple of years that almost every game has a push to be on the stage of esports because obviously it makes them the most money. So because esports is the new focus, they take the focus away from the casual enjoyment, the casual people playing the game. They take the focus away from the single player aspect and only focus on the online multiplayer aspect of the game, which means no storytelling, no campaigns or rubbish campaigns or rushed campaigns. Only focus on how they can make the most money through esports, through sponsors, through multiplayer, through market transactions, through pay to win strategies and through predatory monetization practices. For example, loot boxes, season passes, endless DLCs and these endless scam in-game currencies that they force you to spend more money than the actual pass or pack is worth. For example, let's say I want to buy a $10 item. Oh, look, son, it is $9.99. Oops, you're one cent short. Looks like you need to spend another $9.99. Bruh, that sort of crap, those sort of scams were never present 10 to 15 years ago. How about how the majority of games, and I'm talking almost every single game now, is releasing unpolished, unfinished, glitchy, laggy, not optimized, and just in an unfinished state altogether. It really makes people feel that they're in this never ending beta test of a game that they paid full price for. The proof is in the pudding. They spend more time worrying about the graphics of the game, worrying about how they can milk the players for every single cent they have, worrying about how they can monetize the game in every single possible way, instead of worrying about the actual gameplay of the damn game. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. There's complete lack of innovation. All they do is worry about sequels, reboots, or remasters of games that were once successful. It is a never-ending shitbaggery of corporate Greed. That's the best way I can end this video. So I refuse to go anywhere near the modern day gaming industry. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough of me today. If you enjoyed today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.